I guess this is take three. You know, I have a policy to not make angry videos. This has been a particular challenge in this case. If you recognize that unhappy YouTube face, I'm sure you know why. So yesterday, I got my first copyright strike in seven years on YouTube. I've uploaded over 1,500 unique videos. I've covered at least 1,000 different games. I've been hit with content ID maybe 20, 30 times, I would estimate. Never a copyright strike. Strike is the bad one. When you get a copyright strike, that limits your channel in some ways, and it means... In this case, I can't live stream, so unfortunately, you'll have to follow me on Twitch, I guess. I'll, there'll be a link in the description. I know I just moved over all my streams back to YouTube, and I'm sorry about that. It's obviously not quite my fault. So, what happened here? Well, I have been caught up in some drama completely unrelated to me. Alex Maurer, our key person of interest, is the musician for a game called Star Mazer and Star Mazer DSP. My crime was making a video at the behest, or, well, the developers gave me a key, um, and I made a live stream covering the game. This was about a year ago, September 2006, or er, 2016, uh, 2006, quite a while ago. Um, so I made that video. The Everything was on the up and up back then. Um, since then, there's been some drama, uh, which I was aware of, but I thought was resolved. So we'll start here at the beginning. So I'll, be, they'll, I'll provide a link to every relevant bit of this in the description so you can read it at your own pace. But basically what happens here is that Alex broke their uh, contract. And um, Alex was in a work for hire contract with Star Mazer and Star Mazer DSP and all of that crap. Um, Alex had some medical issues and basically broke their contract and stopped working. So they paid the work that they had, that they paid her for the work that she had done, and um, didn't pay her for the work she didn't do. You know, contracts. Read them. Um, Alex left the team. Blah blah blah. Then Alex filed a DMCA claim against the uh, on the Steam page for Star Mazer. Then um, they went back and forth. So this is SteamDB. This basically lists all changes in the Steam database. And we can see here, whenever the game is delisted, it's been delisted multiple times. Let's try to find the first time. Um, removed release date 14 days ago. That was the most recent time it was taken down. It is currently down. Um, it was just put back up about a week prior to that added release date. Um, it was relisted 25 days ago, taken down uh, a few months ago, um, put back a month prior after being removed that same month, uh, removed again, or wait, no, that's just an edit. So it's been taken down three times now. It's currently down, uh, but the uh, Steam forums are still back up for it, or rather the Steam forums aren't down. Um, excuse me, Paige, why are you not loading? So, uh, as you can see here, most of the posts are about this whole drama. So it went down, back and up, back and up. And then, a couple days ago, copyright happened. Well, illegal copyright claims, rather. Um, she started sending DMCA claims to every video of Star Mazer DSP, excluding some larger YouTubers. Wonder why that could be. Wonder why that could be. I wonder why a person filing illegal DMCA claims would avoid sending those claims to YouTubers who might have a lawyer. I wonder. I wonder. I don't know. Who knows? Mint's a mystery. So basically, um, I think this is the first instance. Um, poor Temi Neko here was the first person to have their video removed that we're aware of. Uh, about two weeks ago, their YouTube video of Darmazer DSP was uh, hit with a strike. Um, at the time, it looked like it was only her. But um, a few days later, a few bunch, a, mo a bunch more people got hit. Um, just yesterday is when I got hit. A bunch more people getting hit today. Uh, it seems like a bunch of people have been hit by now, uh, like most videos. Um, so basically, um, th there was no contact prior to the DMCA. By the way, I found her email, which I have redacted in my infinite professionalism. 
And uh, yeah, uh, my only way of getting rid of this is either A, wait 90 days, which means I can't stream for 90 days, request a retraction, which I did, I emailed her, uh, she was belligerent and sent me a fake invoice. Uh, you can't just write up a PDF and say that, hey, you owe me $100,000. Uh, $10,000, actually. Not lying. It was It's for $10,000 is what the invoice. And she said, oh, I'll give you a discount for 1000 bucks, but I'll give you you know, some fees that are over 1000 bucks. It's one of those passive-aggressive things that uh, stupid assholes tend to do. Or I can submit a counter notification since she belligerently demanded and said that, no, I won't be re rescinding any of those DMCA claims. What I have to do is I have to give a message to the claimant and you only get like 200 characters here. You can't even, you can barely explain it even. Um, I did get a contract. Um, so the Star Mazer team was uh, very nice throughout all of this. They sent over her contract and they said, okay, here's the contract. It proves, uh, in fact, let me show you the contract. Uh, it proves that, yeah, they own fully um, any services, so yeah, work for hire. That's the key term here, work for hire. Contractor services, contractor is Alex Maurer. Services will be provided. Uh, the services were the music. As a specifically ordered or commissioned work made for hire and production company, which is Star Mazer or Imagio Softworks, shall own all results and proceeds of contractor services rendered here under in perpetuity for all purposes, including without limitation to the exploitation of the predictor or otherwise. This agreement may be assigned to any entity or producer provided such entity, blah, blah, blah. Basically, the contractor owns it completely. Ownership, second important clause. There shall be no ownership of control on the part of the contractor in the production unless otherwise explicitly expressed in writing. Uh, Miss Alex Mauser did not even pretend to have such explicit permission. So... Basically, there's an argument here about whether she was paid properly um, from reading the contract. Uh, she was wrong. She didn't read her contract. She broke her contract and she wasn't paid because she was in violation of the contract. Um, I don't care about that. Whether or not she was paid doesn't actually matter to our issue here. Um, there could be some sympathy if she had not gone and done all the other horrible things that she's done. But for the purposes here... What matters is that she was a work for hire and the ownership of all of the music that she made for Star Mazer went, um, the ownership goes to Star Mazer to Imigio Softworks. So she can't file a DMCA claim because she doesn't own the music. Um, so it's not only harassment and pathetic and embarrassing and stupid, unprofessional, disgusting, and all sorts of other words I will spare you. But... It's not legal, that's the important thing. She doesn't own it, she can't file a DMCA claim legally. The problem with DMCA, you can file anything and any company has to take it down. That's the way the DMCA works. Uh, basically, they have to assume everything they get is completely valid and so they take it down by default. And then you have to prove your innocence. Innocent until proven guilty. I wonder how, I wonder if our, you know, is that valid under our uh, legal system? You know, innocent. You know, guilty until proven innocent. Is that right? I don't think it is. Anyway, so uh, just because a DMCA claim happens and something gets taken down, that doesn't mean somebody's in the right. Uh, everything by default is assumed correct. You know, if I wanted to be an asshole, I could probably go in, uh, submit a claim to YouTube and take down some random video. And it probably would happen. Uh, I wouldn't do that because I'm not a scumbag or a monster or a scam artist or anything like that. But uh, some people do happen to end up being those things. So this started hitting the web uh, just yesterday. Some articles got posted. Uh, this is from Gaming Reinvented. Um, I contacted them, them on Twitter. I also emailed Kotaku, talked to Jim Sterling. Seems like Jim's kind of thing, right? Um, I'm not really used to this whole drama YouTube thing, so I, didn't, I wasn't really sure what to do. I have heard that uh, this is the first report I've seen it's on Gaming on PC. What an amazingly unique website title. Um, I don't know if this is true exactly. I was not given this offer, so to speak. But uh, allegedly, some of the first copyright strikes, um, Alex Maurer said, claiming she will only remove them if the offended, affected content creators cover a news story about how the game's developers owe her money for unpaid music work. Which is, that's extortion. Uh, it's extorting the wrong party. But attacking somebody in exchange for something else that's called extortion don't do that don't don't commit extortion that's it's bad 
But the, the incompetent thing is that it's not even extorting the right property. If this occurred, like I said, I didn't get this claim. Um, I wasted my time writing a polite, considering my anger, which is difficult to contain at the moment. Um, I wrote a fairly polite email and I got a very belligerent response. She emailed a fake PDF that says, oh, you owe me $10,000. Um, while StarMazer actually provi provided me with this signed contract with um, all of these stipulations. Not all of this is relevant. Just really just this work for hire and ownership matter to this. Like I said, her claims of not being paid are spurious at best, but uh, that's, not, that's not my issue. So, just in case you have any lingering respect for Alex Maurer and say, oh, maybe she's not that bad. Maybe she got wronged and blah, blah, blah. Um, well, she just today posted the music that, like I said, she doesn't own per the contract. Um, she says, it's back in pog form. Oh, let's go to alexmauerbandcamp.com. Um, yeah, we're leaving steam. I know. It's a dangerous place out there. So this is Overdrive by Alex Maurer, which is the Star Mazer DSP soundtrack. Sold for, well, she's the charitable person, right? She's just trying to make, you know, a little bit of money after, you know, uh, she felt wrong. So she just went to Bandcamp and she just wants to sell the music directly to her fans for $1,000. Yeah, she's selling music that she doesn't own, per the contract, like I said, for $1,000. He still got any uh, respect for this individual left in you? Um, that's an odd note. So Alex Maurer, there's this whole drama last year. Like I said, they they, they, they did, took down the game, blah, 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 had to redo some stuff. They were going to remove the music, I believe. Uh, there's a lot going on here. But game went down, game went back up, back and forth. Um, all of a sudden, Alex Maurer took down her website, which there's an archive dot is, you know, archive of it here. Um... She's made music for some other games, which I will definitely avoid playing because I don't want to get DMCA strikes, you know, even if they're not, you know, false DMCA strikes. There's still a problem, like I said, guilty until proven innocent. Um, so, yeah, she removed her band camp, all web presence entirely. So it's actually strange that she's suddenly back up and she's, you know, selling music she doesn't own for $1,000. A little bit weird there. I went and reported her to... Uh, to band camp. I don't know if they're going to actually do anything because, you know, I I did not make a false DMCA claim and claim that I own the right to the music because I don't. I just said that, hey, something bad's going on here and, uh, you know, they don't legally have to do anything if I do it. You know, you DMCA is supposed to be somebody who actually has the rights. It's just that when you get a DMCA claim, you just have to assume it's real because otherwise you can get sued. It really sucks. Um, she also appears to have filed the copyright claim to this Death Road to Canada trailer. I couldn't find any information about this. I don't know if this is related, uh, but this was removed. She also filed a DMCA claim against the official trailer on StarMazer.com, um, which I don't think this was the StarMazer DSP trailer. This was for the main game. This was a Kickstarter game. Um, that's what this is, uh, Kickstarter game from back in 2015. Um, obviously a bit of a mess at this point. Um... Yeah, uh, the, this whole situation sucks, but the, the the false DMCA claims filed are just completely inappropriate. Um, I can't live stream on YouTube because of this, because it just so happened that I streamed the game because it's a shoot 'em up. I figured, hey, it'd be better for a live stream than a let's play, so I'll do that. Um, so now I can't live stream until I either give this person um, who, my, so to do a counter notification, I have to give them my contact details. I have to give them my personal information. Um, to allow them to sue me. I don't think they're gonna sue me, but considering they're illegally selling music that they don't own for a thousand dollars, considering they're firing, filing false DMCA claims, I don't think I want them to have my street address. I think that might be bad for me to do. So, like I said, I might have to stream on Twitch again. My Twitch is just Sir Tap Tap. I'm sorry you have to move over again. I know I just moved back to YouTube. Um, it's temporary. I hope something happens and Alex Maurer removes all of these claims. Um, she has the full power. There's just a page you can go on YouTube. You can just rescind the pages with just a click. Uh, she obviously won't though. I asked her, she, she's been very belligerent. I don't think anything's gonna happen without legal action, which is why 
I hoped Jim Sterling or, you know, some of the other big guys with the YouTube, you know, copyright drama. Like I said, I'm not used to this crap. Um, if I'm missing some information, I'm sorry. I'm flustered. This is not my thing. I don't, I don't want to talk about the YouTube drama. I don't want to do the copyright stuff. I just want to talk about games. I just, I'm here to talk about games. And you know what? I'm still going to talk about games. Some people are like scared. They're like, oh no, I don't want to play. I don't want to do YouTube videos of indie games anymore. And blah, blah, blah. It's like, it's not about indie games. It's not about games. It's about Alex Maurer. It's about a spiteful contractor who broke their contract and they just want to lash out at everybody. I'm not blaming this on anybody but the one party who is actually responsible for the DMCA claims. Um, I'm still going to make YouTube videos. I'm still going to power on. I'm still going to stream. Not this week, though. I don't. I have a policy. Like I said at the beginning, I don't make videos angry. I'm a little angry. I've been trying to calm myself down. It's difficult right now. But I'm not going to stream this weekend because I don't want to stream angry. And honestly, I don't even want to think about YouTube right now. I, I trashed two videos talking about this because I just get mad. I think it's reasonable that I'm mad at this situation. But uh, I wanted to try and present it reasonably objectively because it's not too much other than um, somebody else did a video. Let me let me find. I'll put, I'll put a link in the description. Sid Alpha did a video. Um, it's the first uh, big video I've seen on it. Um, I really hope Jim... Jim Sterling does a video on it because uh, he, he loves hitting out the DMCA garbage and the content ID stuff. And he, he invented that clever deadlock of YouTube or Nintendo's content ID stuff. That was a cool trick. But um, yeah, I, I don't usually talk about this stuff. I hope I never have to post about this again. If something happens, I'll do another post and I'll be like, hey, uh, video's back up. I can stream again. You can watch on here. Also, it, because just because I'm streaming on Twitch doesn't mean you can't watch. Um, I will upload the VODs on YouTube. So if you miss the stream or if you can't don't want to watch on Twitch, you can watch the VODs later, which that's always going to be the case. Um, I don't regret covering the game. I wish this bullcrap didn't happen. Um, I hope Alex Maurer never gets a job again. She's a stupid asshole. Um, I don't know why she had to do that. Like I said, I'm, don't be angry, tap tap. She's not worth it. She's not worth it. But I did want this info to get out there. I want it to be known. Uh, if you're an indie developer, absolutely never hire Alex Maurer. Holy crap. Um, I don't know, like, Alex Maurer from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Don't hire this person. Because if you let them work for your game, they're apparently going to send DMCA strikes to everybody who plays your game. Um, I don't know why Alex Maurer decided to commit career suicide like this. I really hope it's not worth it for them. I frankly really hope that... Uh, this ends up in court because it seems like uh, the only two parties that have any power to resolve this are Alex Maurer and Imigio Softworks, the Star Mazer developer. I, I don't have any, I can't do anything here. And it's really freaking stupid that I'm involved in this at all, but uh, I don't know. Hopefully you understand the situation better now. Uh, hopefully you share, you know, let people know. I I don't know if anybody has any ends with, you know, Jim Sterling. I figure if his fans or, you know, if people in general make more of a fuss of this, people will start talking about it more, you know. The best thing you can do is share, I guess, and, you know, talk about it. I I think the developer wanted people to, like, be like, oh, oh, no, this poor musician. Oh, hoo, 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 hoo. I'm going to spend $1,000 to buy their illegally posted music. But uh, I don't think... I don't think things are going quite the way they thought. If you read on on, uh, on Steam in here, people are not particularly happy about the situation. Um, I'm a little bit unhappy myself, like I said. Trying to be a little bit polite, a little professional. It's hard when things are incredibly stupid. <sighs> but yeah, that's today's bullcrap. I hope I never have to talk about it again, but I probably will. Uh, I just wanted to talk about games. Uh.